G'day everyone, my name's Cautious Pancake, and today I'm going to try and recreate an old school treehouse base in Alpha 21. Now if you're familiar with 7 days from around Alpha 16, you'll know that back then it was possible to build a treehouse by directly attaching blocks to a tree. While that feature has long since been removed, in Alpha 21 with some of the new blocks being so small, it's possible to once again build a treehouse that looks like it's almost fully up in the air, attached only to the tree, but which is actually fully stable and attached from the ground up. As you can see in this example, I've got a small log cabin built which looks like it's floating off the ground and attached directly to the tree. Heading upstairs, we can see it's a fully functioning mid-game crafting base with forge, workbench and a campfire and a bit of storage. I say mid-game, which is a bit subjective, only because this base is actually made of painted concrete. Concrete was used for the extra stability, which was needed due to adding a balcony and railing around the edge, which pushes the stability out to the limit. If you don't like the small base setup, you can go for something a little bigger by using multiple trees like this and get something that looks a little bit more like a long haul. So that's a quick look at the type of style you might want to add, and of course there's plenty others, so the question is then, how to build it. The original idea for building the base was to plant an oak tree, wait for it to grow, and then once it had reached full size, place four wooden frame blocks around the bottom so that we can then see which way the oak tree is leaning. As you can see, this one is leaning towards this frame over here, or at least this corner, so somewhere around these two frames here. The intent is then to build the supports up through the base of the tree in the direction that it leans. The block that I like for this is the 0.0125 meter side centered pole, which we can grab, rotate around and place at the bottom like that. As you can see, it immediately disappears inside the trunk. And once in place, that can be a little tricky to place, we can then knock down the tree so that we can continue with the build process. Once the tree is removed, build the blocks up six blocks high as the seventh block off the ground will make up the floor of the base. The reason you want the seventh block to be the floor of the base is it's the highest block that will still allow you to walk on top of it while still moving underneath all of the branches of the oak tree and not look like you're clipping through the branches all the time. Once the poles are six blocks high, we can replant the oak tree and wait for it to grow. Trees will hit their next growth stage every 63 minutes and go through four stages, meaning that you will need to wait approximately four hours real time for the tree to grow to its full size. Once grown, you should be able to swing around and see whether there's any poles protruding through the side. And here's where we hit the first little problem with this build process. Whilst originally designing the base, I thought it was consistent. However, after more experimentation, it does appear that the tree will grow to a different rotation each time, or at least I couldn't find a continual pattern for the rotation of the tree. If anyone's got any better tips on how to ensure that the tree grows with the same orientation each time, please let us all know in the comments below. Ignoring the lean of the tree for now, what we can then do is start to build the floor of the base above. Attaching some wood frames just to get us going. You can see how these are attached on top of the pole for support and form the platform from which we can stand. If you're planning on putting a roof on top, it's a great idea to continue the poles up so that they extend all the way from ground right up to the roof. Once again, the trick will be finding the block rotations that match the oak tree's lean so that they remain hidden once the tree is fully grown. This time I've gone with two corner post poles as well as the side centered pole as that gives you a cluster all on the one side which should hopefully match the tree's lean that is nice and stable and green all the way through to bedrock. Returning to the ground and planting our tree once again and accelerating through the growing process. We can see once fully grown, the tree has once again changed rotations and is showing different blocks. And the side that we thought it was is almost the exact opposite, not quite, 90 degrees to the right, and is only covering up one of those pillars rather than all three. After messing around with this for some time, I've come to the realization that there's actually an easier way to build the blocks within the tree. 
You can place the first block at the bottom like so, but you can't place any of the blocks above because it's within the tree space. However, if you place cube blocks on the outside, we can then apply the blocks within the tree by pushing them against the wood cube blocks to the side and above, and that ensures that we can build the pillar with the tree already in position. In the end, this is a much easier way to use a tree that's already in place and build your base against that, rather than trying to guess where the tree is going to grow and building the poles before it even gets there. Now you might well be asking, okay, that's great, I've got a pretty looking treehouse base, but how does it go against zombies? Well, kind of like you'd expect, it's basically still just a pillar base that the zombies are going to be able to see and try and attack. The only difference is, is that rather than being able to hit the poles directly, zombies will hit on the tree first and can't do any damage to the poles until the tree is knocked down. You can try and defend against this with the usual sorts of defenses such as a pit. This will confuse the zombies for a while and generally mess with their pathing. This will cause them to wander around and hit on different dirt blocks around the edge of the pit rather than anything particularly critical, but it also makes them fairly difficult to predict as to their movements and for someone as bad a shot as I am, hard to hit. It's still a viable defense base for a day seven horde if you want to spend just a little bit of time starting a tree base and digging a pit or digging a little moat around it you can do so and the zombies will generally attack but not be particularly effective which isn't too bad for a day seven horde obviously it's not going to hold up once you start to get the cops and spinning but for the early game it allows you to play out any robin hood fantasies that you might have Additionally, for this sort of base, if you've got any molotovs handy, those will be particularly effective for the small groups of zombies that you will get in early game, particularly when they randomly run around and group up like they're doing here. Now, while this was a very, very simplistic example of a treehouse horde base, you can, of course, use this same concept to build any sort of beginner horde base that you like and just have the aesthetic of a treehouse base included as part of it, rather than building just flat against the ground or against an existing POI wall. In terms of limitations, there's a few to be aware of. First, that pine trees and winter pine trees aren't as good to build against because the diameter of the tree trunk isn't as large as the oak trees. And for the winter pines in particular, the foliage is quite dense and it makes it difficult to build an attractive looking horde base against it. But don't let that stop you if that's really what you want to build. Additionally, I should point out that building with this method doesn't add any advantage or disadvantage to your base. So I don't think that this is something that the fun pimps are going to bother to patch out. It's simply taking advantage of some of the clipping on the blocks for aesthetic purposes. It doesn't give any gameplay advantage one way or the other. Now, do you remember back at the start, I said that in Alpha 21, you can't build a base directly off a tree? Well, it turns out that I lied. While you can't attach blocks directly to the tree itself, if we use a similar technique that we use to attach bases to the trader wall, it's possible to attach blocks to trees. If you first start with a wood frame pillar or staircase like this, it's possible to build a platform that remains attached to the tree even after the supports are removed. I don't recommend this as part of your design though, as if the zombies destroy the tree, which is effectively one huge cobblestone block, since it has 1200 HP, then your base will come tumbling down. There is also the possibility that the fun pimps will nerf this since it doesn't seem to be an accepted method of building. I'm including it here though, as in a pinch it's worth knowing in case you want to use it somewhere in your designs. So that's how you can build a treehouse in Alpha 21. I hope you've enjoyed this revival of an old style of horde base, but with an Alpha 21 twist to construction. Please give me a thumbs up on the video if you have, and if you'd like to see more videos like this one in the future, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and happy building.